hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video i am going to show you a very interesting model that model is called as omni chen it's just a version one but already it is extremely promising the reason why i say that that it is a text to image model but the quality of this model is that you can edit the images after generating them with simple text prompts so in this video we are not going to we are not only going to install this model locally we are also going to test this image editing capabilities of this model before i tell you more about this model let me give a huge shout out to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you are looking to rent a gpu on good prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on a range of gpus so do check them out okay so let me first take you to my local system where i'm running ubuntu 22.04 let me quickly show you there you go and i have one gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gpu of vram courtesy mass compute and that is where i am going to get it installed first up let me create a conda environment while it gets created and let me get some more commands to install prerequisites shouldn't take too long and that is done and now let's install all of these prerequisites which are usual suspects like torch and transformers and few other auxiliary libraries like pef10 bits and bytes so let it run and while it runs let's talk more about this model which is omnigen so omnigen is a unified image generation model that you can use to perform various tasks including but not limited to text to image generation subject driven generation identity preserving generation image editing which is my favorite and image conditioned generation the best thing omnigen doesn't require any plugins or operations it can automatically identify the features such as required object human pose depth mapping in Im in input images according to the text prompt and i will show you one example shortly and if you have used comfy ui or stable diffusion 1.5 model and all those control net model where like open pose depth and all that stuff you know what i'm talking about that you don't have to include the extra steps if you want to condition or control the generation of these models so i guess this is uh, the future of image generation model it will be flexible it will be simpler and you can generate various images through arbitrarily multimodal instructions without the need for additional plugins and operations similarly how gpt works in language generation images and video and audio will be the same very soon so that is what is quite interesting um, just to think of it people including me we have spent considerable time and effort in learning all of these control net models and how to use them to control the image generation and i have done heaps of videos on it but models like these have just made all of those that learning obsolete so these are the times we are living in anyway so let's go back to the terminal to see what is happening it is still getting installed so let's wait and while that happens let me also quickly introduce you to the sponsors of video who are agent ql agent ql is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly easily and at scale you can use the python sdk to run your queries in production using playwright and use the browser based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page it is quite a robust alternative to fragile xpath and dom css selectors and i will drop the link to their website in video's description too okay so it is still running i think now it is on the last legs so let's wait should be done any second now the prerequisites are done next up let's install this omnigen through pip you can even install it through the source if you like And now let's git clone the repo of omnigen and i will drop the link to it in video's description let's wait for it and that is done and we are into omnigen's repo next up let's install and launch our jupyter notebook in the browser environment so that we could play around with it after downloading the model 
and the Jupyter Notebook is launched. Let's import the libraries and through the Omnichain Zone pipeline, let's download the model. And the model is being downloaded, I believe. Yes, the size is just 15.5 gig. So let's wait for it. It is going to take a bit of a time. Make sure that you have that much space on your system. And once it's launched, I will also show you the VRAM requirements. And this model is also available on Hugging Face. And the model is loaded. Next up, let's do the inference, which means let's give it a text prompt to generate an image first. So I'm just asking you to do a realistic photo. A young woman sits on a sofa holding a book facing the camera. She wears delicate silver hoop earrings adorned with art and flowers, creating a cozy ambience, 4K HD. And then I'm just piping it through. This is image uh, aspect ratio, garden scale, which mentions at home uh, how much prompt adherence will there be. And then the, just a random seed value. And we are saving the image and showing it. So let me run it. And it is doing the image generation at the moment. Let's also check our VRAM where we are at. So it is consuming just over 41 gig of VRAM. So make sure that you have that much on your system. Let's wait for it to finish. And there you go. You can see that it has generated a very, very high quality image where it has given us this realistic photo with everything we asked for. Okay, now let me show you the actual magic of this. Let me close this and let's edit this image. So what I'm saying here is remove the women's earring, replace the mug with a clear glass filled with sparkling ice cola. And within the prompt, we are also giving it the image we have just created here. And then these are all the hyperparameters again, height, width, garden scale, image garden scale and all that stuff. And then we are saving and uh, showing the image. So let me run it. So again, it is going through this. Okay, so what exactly it happened there? Okay, I think my path is wrong. So let me fix my path. And that is done. And look at this image, how the mug has been replaced by that soda in the glass and the earrings have been removed. How good is that? Really good stuff here. Now, you can edit any images you like. One of the things you need to make sure that is that you have plenty of VRAM for it, at least 48 GB of VRAM, because um, it consumes even that much. So, but still, I believe doing this sort of stuff just within the model with the text prompt, all the image generation and editing, it's a new frontier. Things are becoming simpler and easier as the time goes by. I was trying to check out if it is possible to do in the Comfy UI. Still, I don't see any option of doing that. But when I do, I will share another video with you. I'm also planning to do a fine tuning video on this one with own images. But I believe that needs a bit more uh, grunt. I don't think so that is going to happen on 48 GB of VRAM. Anyway, stay tuned. If you like the con uh, content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please do me a favor and share it among your network. Also, uh, I wanted to thank you all of you for your support because if you just look at the channel, you will see that now we all have crossed 20,000 subscribers. So courtesy to you very obliged very grateful thanks for the support thank you